Hi friends, I'm Jess and welcome to the Hex Library. Today's video is going to be about the amazing readathon. If you have not heard yet, the Amazing Readathon is a readathon that's taking place for the entire month of August. It was put together by Brie at Four Paws in a Book, and there are five teams of colors, much like the Amazing Race. Uh, I am a host, a team captain, if you will, for Team Purple, and so my job today is to tell you some purple books. Technically, these are books with 51% of purple or more on the cover. I think they all fall in that realm. Some's maybe a little pushing it, but we're gonna go with it. I feel like if it was like, you know, an opposite team that was pulling these and it was their color that I would be comfortable with that as well. So that's what we're going with. I'm also calling this the pajama party edition because I came home from work and changed all my clothes and put my pajamas on and then remembered that I needed to film and put my hair up and all that fun stuff, so or wearing pajamas. It's fine. So the Amazing Readathon is, as I said, five teams. We're going to be going to different locations. There's going to be all kinds of fun stuff. I don't know, some book prompts, some challenges. There's going to be a battle weekend. I will leave Bree's video down below for you. So if you want to check that out and see what the readathon is about, if you don't know yet, that's there for you. If you're on Team Purple and you're here to see some books for Team Purple, Let's get to it. I have broken these down into three categories of books. The first is a standalone book with more than half of the cover is purple. The second is the first book in a series that is a purple cover. And the third is a book in a series that is more than purple, but you're gonna have to read a few books before you can get there. So these are ones maybe if you read a lot or if you have already started the series and maybe hadn't thought about a book later on in the series being purple, um, that's more of what that section is for for you. Some of them also could be read as a standalone, but we'll talk about that when we get there. So the first book is one of only two that I actually haven't read and that is Talk Flirty to Me by Libby Hart. This book is a adult romance where our two main characters um, it's our main female character and her brother's best friend. They have kind of like a hate-hate relationship a little bit. There's a job that she's going for, but the only way for her to really get this job is for her to have him do it as well. And they are reading the smexy parts of an audiobook for an audiobook. So I imagine that that would be fun. We then have A Wicked Magic by Sasha Lawrence. This book follows Dan and Liz who are best friends who find this book that turns them into witches but what they don't know is that that also kind of releases this great evil and we see one of their friends is taken by the great evil and then we're like a year further in the future and it's like these girls trying to figure out their relationship with one another their new best friend trying to figure out what's actually going on with the evil that they released and you know it's all about friendship and all of those fun things and I did really like this book. We then have The Lies We Told by Camilla Way. This is an adult mystery thriller. It follows two timelines. Um, we have a mother whose daughter is creepy and she wonders, you know, maybe what is her daughter doing with her life? Um, she's like a young child into teenage years and it's disturbing. And then we have um, our main character, Clara, who is dating a guy named Luke, whose sister went missing when she was little and then Luke also goes missing and so she's trying to figure out what happened to Luke and then trying to figure out how this woman's child is connected. Toil and Trouble, 15 Tales of Women and Witchcraft. This is an anthology that has to do with women and witchcraft. So this is Ever After by F.T. Lukens. When I read this book my description was this book is Heartstopper meets Legends and Lattes. Okay, so this is basically like a Dungeons and Dragons campaign where in this fantasy world these kids had to go up against the great evil and they beat the great evil and now what do they do? So our main character, he goes to rescue this princess and he finds out that the princess cannot rule the kingdom because he put the crown on, he has to rule the kingdom. And he was just doing it to goof off. And so him and his friends have to kind of put the society together. So you kind of watch them slowly build the society and like figure out like how they're gonna like send dignitaries to other countries that, you know, 
we used to be in battle with this great evil guy and like how they're going to make friends with everybody and how they're going to do all these things and then he finds out that if he doesn't find a spouse by his 18th birthday then he'll die and that's part of like the 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 contract that you signed by putting the crown on and so his best friend who he has a crush on is our love interest and he's pretty sure that his best friend is straight so it's it's again Heartstopper meets Legends and Lattes. What more could you want? We have now hit our first book in a series, Purple Books. We have The Kiss Curse by Erin Sterling. This is an adult witchy rom-com. This is a hate to love romance. It's set in a witchy small town um, where they have to figure out what's going on with the magic and why things are going weird. And uh, there is a second book out in the series if you're interested in continuing on after you finish this one. Also, Not the Witch You Led by April Asher, an adult rom-com witchy. Also with other creatures as well, werewolves, vampires, shifters, cupids, demons, half demons. Uh, it's, it's all here. We have two best friends from high school who he did something to betray her in high school and they have not spoken to each other for like a decade and then they have to start fake dating and then they kind of like actually fall for each other. It's fantastic. We then have These Witches Don't Burn by Isabel Sterling. This is one of the ones that I was questioning like is it 50% purple? But because it's I, I would accept it. Like I would accept it. So I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to go with it. This book follows Hannah, who is an elemental witch. In this world, there are elemental witches as well as what we consider um, Wiccans in our society in actual real day time. Um, the Wiccans don't really know about the elementals, but the elementals definitely know about the Wiccans. And there is some dark magic creeping up in town and she has to use the help of her best friend, her ex-girlfriend, and her new love interest to help save the world. This was technically the fourth book release, but it is a prequel, so we're going with it. Uh, the Outcast by Taryn Mathrew. This is the prequel to the Summoner series. Um, I don't know what this series is about. This is the other one that I haven't read yet. So we then have Blood Like Magic by Lizelle Sanberry. Yes, I'm calling all of these dark pinks a fuchsia, which is purple. Just just roll with it. But Like Magic follows our main character, Voya, who comes from this very large dysfunctional family. She lives in a near future Toronto where society has a lot more technological advanced things than what we have now. She has this thing that she has to go through called a calling, which in her family and her society, this is what a witch has to go through and has to pass in order to get their powers. And she goes into her calling and she doesn't do well. She asks the ancestors to grant her another opportunity and the ancestors basically say you have to take away the life from the person you love the most and so she joins this app in order to find her true love so that she can then kill them so it's a fun time it's very much like dysfunctional family it's got a romance it's a lot it's very sci-fi heavy even though it is magic and witches it's also got a lot of sci-fi it's a very good series i love it i actually have a review vlog of this that i will link down below for you okay and our last category is books that you would have to read another book before you got to this book some there's only one book some is seven so we're just we're just rolling with it um first we're gonna go with war maidens by kelly coon this is the sequel to grave maidens by kelly coon this series follows our main character who lives in a society where the uh emperor is he considered an emperor? I think he's considered an emperor. In their society, the emperor is allowed when he is going to die. He gets to choose from the families what they call grave maidens, which are these three women who get to go with him and be in sealed in his tomb to be his wives for all of eternity. And um, our main character, her sister, is chosen to be a grave maiden in the first book. And so she goes to the castle um, to try to heal the emperor so that he won't die and so that her sister won't have to die essentially and there's a lot of political drama there's a lot of found family aspects there's a really cute romance and I love this duology this is another one that's questionable but I'm going to allow it will Brie allow it I don't know but I'm going to allow it Box in the Woods by Maureen Johnson this is the fourth book in the Truly Devious series so again you would have to read three other books before you got to this one uh, but if you have started reading that series before and you've been putting off reading this book, like now's your time. Uh, the series follows Stevie who goes to this prestigious Ellingham Academy where basically you get to pick whatever your study is going to be. Her study is to solve uh, cold cases essentially and there was a cold case murder and disappearance that happened at the school many years before she goes there. So she wants to go there so she can solve the crime and she gets there and then another crime happens and then she's solving both crimes at the same time. And then this is book four. 
we'll hop into a couple of adult romances here and we have Starry I'd Love by Helena Hunting. This is the second book in the Spark Sisters trilogy. Uh, this one is a second chance-ish romance. This one is very spicy and the series as a whole was great. We then have Well Traveled by Jen DeLuca. This is the fourth book in the Well Met series. Again, you would have to read three books before you got to this one. Technically, you could just read this one if you wanted to. It's adult, it's spicy. This one is more particularly a women's fiction than a romance, uh, but the romance is heavily featured and the spicy parts are very nice. Um, you could read this as a standalone because you don't really need all of the context of the other books. It's really more about the characters that are in this book. Um, like they're in the other books but they're not like main characters in the other books so you could read it without reading the other three but you know if you've read some of the other ones and again you haven't got to this one yet here's your sign to read it. Oh we then have A Prophecy in Ash by Julie Zentopoulos. This is the second book in the Curse and Ash series that follows our main character Ashlyn and it's very spicy and she has two boyfriends. It's a throuple. Okay just read though. I'll just just read them okay. Like just just do the thing. Um, if for some reason you've been, you know, wanting to read the Vampire Academy series or reread uh book four, Blood Promise, She Purple. I'm not telling you what Vampire Academy is about. You've been on book two, you know what it's about. There's been a TV show, there's been a movie. Like you know at this point. I actually finished this one this week. Sarah Normal, book seven, Secrets Within. Uh they're very short. There's six books before this one but I mean they're like 150 pages a piece. Uh, Sarah Normal follows Sarah who is a 12 slash 13 year old girl because she ages up as the series goes on who can see ghosts and her powers continue to progress. She lives with her father and a little old lady who is a psychic and things happen. And the last book that I have for you is The Twisted Dead by Darcy Coates. This is the third book in the Gravekeeper series. This is a horror series. Um, I mean, I guess we would consider these horror. I'm going with it. I don't know, but I'm going with horror. Okay. Okay. Uh, this series follows our main character who at the very beginning of the first book is running from people. She can only remember who her name is. She can only remember who her name is. She can only remember that she believes her name to be Kira and that's about it. And she knows that the people she's running from are the bad people and she wants to get away. She's able to convince this priest to hide her in his house while these people are looking for her. And then after they feel like they have gone far enough away, the priest offers her to stay at this cabin in the graveyard in order to just continue to hide out because he realizes that she's being serious when she says she doesn't know who the fuck she is. And so she stays in the cabin and she helps pass on the ghost, but the ghosts have other plans. And so do the people who are hunting our friend. Um, this is a found family. There is a romance, just a, a titillating spice of a romance. It's, it's very, very barely there even on book three, but you know it's there. Like you can feel it. But it's so tiny. So tiny. It's great. It's fantastic. Love this series. Love Darcy. We'll read anything by her. This one was great. I'm going to attempt to hold all of these up for you. Okay? And you can laugh at me. So they're not all going to fit in frames. It's really just going to be funny. It's more fun for me than for you or more fun for you than for me. I don't know which, but we're just going to give it a shot. Are you ready? I don't think you're ready. Look at this. Ooh. Purple books. And that's, that's enough for me. Thanks. If you made it this far in the video, leave a purple emoji down below. I mean, obviously. If you know any books that are 51% or more purple on the cover, leave those down below so our fellow purple team members have some books they can read. Also, I need some books that I can read that are purple because again, I, only two of those are unread. So that is all I have for today. I post reading, writing book and planner related content a couple times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, well, first I'm going to put all of these books away and be glad I'm in my pajamas. But then, I'll see you next time. Bye.